Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weekly review. Uh, a few things to cover this week. Uh, we just had an announcement that Season 4 is coming up at the end of April 23rd and 24th of April is when the season is going to start. So we just have a few weeks left of the season, which is great. And the other thing that uh, actually is coming up, this and next week you can actually participate in Break the Meta competition organized by Rider.io. There is a list of classes that you can play and all of your keys need to be composed of those classes if you want to participate participate in their ladder, etc. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. It's going to run for two weeks. Previously, we just run for one week. And although the week that's coming up, it's not amazing. The next week, which is Tyrannic, is actually going to be uh, quite nice. So uh, if you're interested, check them out. Uh, it's definitely something to look forward to. It's definitely something... Uh, different if you'd like uh, to do and uh, usually I have a lot of fun for the week that it's active now I'm gonna have a lot of fun for two weeks because all of the shaman specs are eligible officially the worst class in dragonflight uh, and having said that uh, basically we are just uh, moments away uh, from next season and uh, the week that's coming up is going to be fortified incorporeal and sanguine now, this is actually quite bad week because uh, obviously the trash is going to be harder and it's going to heal a lot uh, from the uh, Sanguine, which uh, obviously depends on the quality of your tank, but it's going to slow you down regardless uh, because there are many unpleasant mobs that uh, would just sit there, cast, they wouldn't move, etc. So uh, from that perspective, uh, expect uh, a little bit of uh, uh, downtime um, and a little bit more... Um, difficulty in the dungeons and you have incorporeal added which is notoriously one of the worst affixes in pugs uh, so make sure you pick up uh, all the talents that you need to cc the ads um, no matter what class you're playing you need to be able to help with those and uh, of course if those go off you you wipe so it's quite hard fortified week uh, but keys are definitely manageable uh, it's just a matter of ceasing the incorporeals and uh, you know dragging mobs out of the sanguine uh so do not underestimate this week you can still push some keys and then uh, you can look forward to the tyrannical week which is going to be next week uh and i think it has much more pleasant uh, affixes having said that i spent the whole week uh, just doing achievements for the meta i'm almost there although it's probably going to take me two more weeks uh, for some of the slow ones, but uh, the, the bigger part is done. So I've only done keys on the Shaman and uh, not even eight, and I think one key on the Pali. So uh, opening the votes is going to be quick. Um, I don't know what to open as because I still need some good uh, gear for healing, but I'm going to open as enhancement. If I get the Smolder on Trinket, I get the Smolder on Trinket. If not, uh, if I get Pips, I can use Pips for healing as well. Uh, so let's go backwards. Uh, we have the crit mastery neck. This one is actually interesting because it has a lot of mastery. Probably not upgrade upgrade for uh, enhancement. Uh, finally, we get this ring, but I have it with a socket, so it's definitely not going to be an upgrade. This we already have at mythic level pad. This is a finger. Okay, haste mastery. Ooh, that's a big. That's a big finger. That's a big ring. Um. I don't know if it's going to be better without a socket, though. Probably not. Especially for the build that I'm running, which relies a lot of ma on mastery. This we're not interested in. So it might be just tokens, but uh, I don't have any any place to put them on. Because everything has a socket now. I, I need to check my resto gear. That's a tough choice. Uh, I'll sim the ring. Uh, of course, I'll sim the ring. But I have a bad feeling that uh, even when I sim it, it's not going to be better than uh, the... 283 especially when the 283 has a socket and uh since i don't have another socket lying lying around yeah i might just end up picking this for my rest to gear but again i have 483 uh world waycrest with a socket so it's a very tough uh very tough vault man it's a very tough vault uh because even if i pick the socket that late in the season doesn't really matter uh, so yeah, they could have experimented a little bit with the Volta uh, for, for Season uh, 4, you know, since nobody cares ab uh, about it. Uh, let me check the Pali really quick. As I said, uh, one key on the Pali, I think, and that's it. I didn't play any of the other oats uh, in keys. So um, that's probably going to be the same this week because I'll mostly be playing the Shaman in Break the Meta. Uh, probably not many other keys, but I will stream it probably on my main channel. 
and on Twitch. So uh, check this out during the week if you're interested. Uh, and of course, uh, it, it's going to be a lot of uh, engagement, a lot of fun playing different classes with uh, uh, tanks that are not meta. Uh, healers are fine because uh, all the healers, uh, maybe apart from Holy Pali, are fine this season. Uh, but everything else is, you know, quite good. Uh, loot spec is protection. Eh, why not? Uh, I might have... Actually, I didn't run anything. Yeah, I'll just open. Like, there, there's no chance I get anything good anyway. Uh, it's just one piece of gear. Yeah, I didn't do any raids. Uh, we already have this at mid-level. So, thank you for the tokens. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, check my main channel if you like. I have a description in the video. Uh, hopefully, a lot of content coming up for Season 4. Uh, some dungeon guides that I have planned and everything around them. And, uh, of course, once the season is live, maybe some class guides. See you in the next video. Now, get out of here.